Hey guys, okay, so sorry about the hair, because it's a little bit crazy today, but I'm really, really, like, not in the mood to look beautiful or anything, so, you know. Um, so today I'm actually going to tell you, um, nothing has changed, um, really. I've been working out more, been running more, um, and eating healthier. Um, as far as running, my run time is okay, it's not great, which, um, it... Like I said, it kind of declined because of my foot, so that kind of sucked. But other than that, everything is good. Um, as for what I'm eating, I want to share this with you. I don't really think it's that big of a deal, but I'm a snacker. Uh, I love calories, um, and that's something that I've had to change. Um, and, of course, I've broken the rules a few times, which I need to get more control. But no. um, Go Sorry about the noise. It's the family. Um, but, uh, something I do is I fill up on fruits that I like. Um, I love yogurt. I love, um, I'm trying to think of little snacks, fruit bars, things like that. Um, that's the kind of stuff that I usually snack on now. Um, I, as far as fruit is concerned, I love, um, blackberries, raspberries, like, Berries, strawberries, things like that. Um, and then um, apples, bananas, and that's pretty much it as far as uh, fruits are concerned. Vegetables, I like cucumbers and carrots and celery. And so those are kind of things that I actually make sure in the house so that way when I'm hungry and I want to snack, I'm not snacking on the wrong stuff. So um, that's kind of important to me. I don't know if that helps you guys any, but find something that is healthy that you know that you like. Um, have it around and try and cut down every week on one unhealthy thing that you eat. For me, it's chips and salsa. Like, that's, like, my favorite thing in the world. And I cut down on it because, um, I kind of want to weed myself away from that type of stuff. So, hopefully it'll help. Um, again, I'm so sorry about my hair. This is not cute. It's not cute at all. Um, anyway. So... Exciting news, I had a friend of mine get out of basic training, which is awesome, so um, he actually wrote me and he told me a little bit about his experience and what he did, and um, it it was neat hearing his perspective, and I was actually going to share some of it with you, so um, I asked him how PT was in the summer, um, and how hard the uh, uh, end test was for uh, the, uh, the EOC test, which is pretty much like the written part of, well, written tests at the end. Um, he said that PT was done at 5 a.m., so it was never really hot outside, um, but you have strength days and run days, as I'm sure all of you know. Um, run days, you run about 35, 40 minutes. Um, so definitely, if you are not good at running, definitely work on running. Um, and then strength days are uh, just push-up, sit-ups, etc. Sometimes you do burpees, sometimes you do other things like that, but they really have you do like squats and, and things like that. I mean, it's it's not hard, um, but you do want to go in knowing a little bit about that stuff, so um, definitely look up maybe on YouTube a uh, an Air Force PT. And they should have um, videos that show what people do. Um, I've seen them, so. Um, I asked him how many questions were on the uh, the uh, EOC test, and he said it's a hundred questions, and I do believe, if I remember correctly, what he said is um, it's all multiple choice. Um, if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me, um, but that is just what I know. Um, so it, he said uh, it's fine if you study, um, but that's a big thing is just studying when you have the time, um, and it, it's easy as long as you pay attention. Um, he didn't really study much, and he got an 80, so he passed. But you don't want to just pass. I mean, you want to do as well as, as you can, so definitely um, study. Um, I asked him about um, what he knows of people leaving later in the year for myself. Uh, and he told me that PT is later in the day, um, which I think is weird, and I hope not. But that's when he said it, he thinks, so hopefully no. Um, and, uh, he'll actually be on RA, um, so, which is recruiter's assistant, um, he'll be coming home for a little while before he leaves, so, um, he's gonna actually tell me a little bit more when he gets here, and, um, maybe I can record him, I don't, I don't know if he'll let me do that, but we'll see. Um, 
I asked him for any tips that I could share with you guys, and this is what he gave me. Um, one is don't show emotions. Um, if you do, just play like you're scared, and um, the instructors will usually not go easy on you or not leave you alone, but you'll have an easier time. I don't want to say easy. It's not going to be easy. It's very stressful. Um, number two, you're going to get stressed out plenty of times. Just stay calm and remember it's only temporary. I think that's a big thing. Um, everybody's freaking out about basic training. Um, I'm not really worried about it. Um, I know it's going to be stressful, and I think I've prepared myself for that. But I know it's not forever, and I think people get too wrapped up in the thought of being there and not the thought of getting out. So I think that's kind of what you have to push for is like, it's not forever. So um, don't forget that. Um, number three, he said, have fun with it. Your experience is what you make it. Um, have some fun with everything. So when you're like going through obstacle course and you're going, uh, doing like uh, pugil sticks and oh, beast and all that other stuff, um, try to have fun with it. Um, I know it's not easy to say since I haven't experienced it, but it really is what you make it. Um, and what you put forward, and I think that the more prepared you are going in, um, the, not, I don't want to say easy, because it's not easy, but the easier time you will have, I guess, um, and you'll have more time to really focus on the things you don't know yet, um, but that's just my advice, and number four, he said pay attention to the little things, um, little details count, um, and that's what they want you to see, they're going to make a big uh, not so much of a big deal about the little things, but they're gonna they're gonna let you know about them, and they're gonna expect you to remember. So um, definitely do that. Um, but um, that's as far as everything that I found out um, goes. Uh, I will try and get more information. If you have any questions that you'd like me to ask him, since he did just get out, please, please, please comment below. Um, I would be really happy if you would do that, and that way I can get some answers for you guys personally. Um, keep in mind, this was a guy's perspective. Um, right now, I do not have a female perspective. Um, but anyone who's leaving around the same date as me, I know there's a couple of you. Um, my friend is actually leaving before me, October 29th. I will be making a video uh, as soon as she gets back, and she will be updating me on everything that the females do. She actually gets back about 20 days before I leave. So, um... If any of you want to know anything about basic training, definitely stay tuned around December, um, and I will have a lot more information for females, but any males watching this video, if you have any questions, please ask me, and I will definitely get in touch with uh, my friend and ask him uh, some questions. I do believe he's doing uh, security forces. I could be wrong, so if he is, um, then, you know, if you are doing the same thing, definitely ask me questions, and I can get them answered for you. Uh, I'm sorry this video is kind of long. Um, but I don't really have anything new with me at the moment. Um, so I will keep you guys updated. This month I'm going to be really busy. It's actually um, my boyfriend and I's anniversary, um, my friend's wedding, and...